Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And those of you who have been following these uh, videos know that I have uh, a certain attraction to uh, various verses that just don't seem to make sense at first glance. And I was struck recently as I read uh, the book of Exodus, especially the first part when dealing with Moses' dealings with Pharaoh. And uh, Moses saying, come on, you let my people go. We're going to go to the wilderness. We're going to sacrifice to our God, and we're going to do all this stuff. And Pharaoh says, he says, what do you got to go out to the wilderness for? Sacrifice here. Come on. You'll get, you have my permission. Moses says, no, no, that's not going to work. You see, what, the things that we sacrifice are sheep. And the Egyptians, along with worshipping, you know, cats and bugs and dogs and crocodiles and hippos and everything else, one of their deities was the sheep. And he says, you know, if we start sacrificing rams and sheep here, the people are going to want to stone us. They're going to want to, you know, they're going to want to be violent to us. This is the part that gets me. If Pharaoh gave the Jewish people permission to do their kabbanas, their sacrifices, in Egypt, his word is law. It's not like kings today or, or, or presidents or prime ministers today. His word was law. He had absolute power over life and death. If he said the Jews are allowed to do sacrifices, that's it. That's all. What we learn from this is sensitivity, the, 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 media, the, the characteristic of sensitivities to other people's feelings. It's not that the Egyptians would actually disobey Pharaoh and, and, and stone the Jewish people, but they would want to. It would cause them tsar, anxiety. It would hurt their feelings. It would upset them. It would, it would really hurt them. And uh, we learn from this that Moses was very sensitive to the, to the feelings of the Egyptians, even you know, they were all pagans and they were all into idolatry of the Zara. Still, he didn't want to upset them. And from this we learned that even when we do mitzvahs, we shouldn't do them in a way that would upset others. We should be, always be sensitive to the feelings of others. Now, sometimes mitzvahs have to be done a certain way. And if that's the case, then... We do it, and that trumps everything else. For example, um, uh, at Hanukkah, the tradition is to have the candles, the Hanukkah candles, in a window or outside facing the outside. Now, some people may not be wild about these Jews having Hanukkah menorahs uh, in their window. Well, I'm sorry, it's too bad. And it doesn't matter that they're upset, that they're being upset or hurt is irrational. Uh, or self-imposed, or just it just doesn't make a, a lot of sense. We have to be sensitive to certain things we can't compromise. For example, circumcision. A lot of people are really opposed to circumcision. They're 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 quite quite opposed. Too bad, God said, and that's the way it goes. Um, but we always keep in mind that the Torah, as a general rule wants us to be sensitive to the feelings of others as much as we can. Sometimes we can't, but as much as we can, we take uh, the feelings of others into consideration. It's a very important characteristic uh, for us to have, both as Jews and as uh, B'nai Noach, returnees, converts. We're all more or less in a similar boat. Um, to be good godly people. And one of the things is sensitivity to the feelings of others. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.